think Fedora is about to become easier to install than Linux Mint. Seriously, let's get started. This is only available currently on Linux, uh, Fedora Linux 42, the Workstation Edition. This has not made its way out to the spins yet. Uh, as you may or may not know, uh, the announcement for uh, uh, Fedora 42 Beta was just uh, uh, announced a couple days ago at the time that you're watching this. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to go through and look at the new web UI installer for Fedora 42. Uh, again, this is only available on the workstation currently. Uh, hopefully it will make its way to the spins for uh, 43, but we will see. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Uh, as you can tell, uh, the old installer has, uh, the old Anaconda installer, which hasn't changed in more than a decade, has six icons here in the middle, or six choices in the middle, and you can go into each one of those choices and, and choose whatever you want to do. It's not, it's not done in a linear fashion. Basically, it complains until you give it satisfaction, uh, until you give it satisfactory answers, and you can't continue until you do, uh, which can be kind of frustrating, especially for new people. However, watch this. We have four steps. Welcome, install, storage, and review. English, next. I want to use both of my disks. Use the entire disk. Not worried about encrypting the data. I understand that it's about to erase my disks. Erase and install. That is it. That's all it takes. That's all you're going to do for this installation. Everything from here on out is going to be the the back end putting the operating system on your disks for you. And I'm going to go ahead and pause the video for just a few seconds while this finishes up so this video is not too long. Back in a second. Okay, now that that's done, they were even nice enough to give us a QR code that we can scan and leave feedback on the installation if we wanted to. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and exit live. Then we'll go ahead and reboot. Okay, so we're not quite done with the installer yet. There's one more thing that we have to do. And those of you that are eagle-eyed probably know what it is. But let's go ahead and get rebooted and uh, we'll go from there. We got one more step to tidy everything up and then this video will be done. Come on now. All right, I'm going to pause this for a second. Okay, come on. It's already it's already done the shutdown part. It's in the process of coming back up. There we go. Okay, so for those of you that were observant, we never give it any username, password, or any kind of user setup. That's what we're about to do now. This is going to actually be the rest of the the uh, setup. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So English is the language. Uh, both of those places, I can skip that. This is wired. Um, I, I'll just, whatever. Uh, time zone, I can just put in Chicago. Chicago, Illinois. Next, I'm not in Chicago, but I'm in a central time zone. Uh, I don't care about third party repositories, especially not in this video. So. Some of you might be thinking, well, this is kind of looks a lot like Microsoft's OOBE or out of box experience. And you would be largely correct. You can also do an enterprise login down here since this is a workstation. Now, an interesting thing is, and perhaps you guys can let me know because I'm not really a huge GNOME fan, um, for better or for worse. What is the difference between just the regular Fedora spin and the workstation. Both of them use GNOME, but all of you out there that are experts in Fedora GNOME, leave a comment below and let me know what the difference between the two is. And there we go. So we set the user up and bam, on our desktop. We're gonna skip the, we're gonna skip the tutorial, or, or yeah, we're gonna skip the tutorial. The point is, is getting you aware of the installer itself. We are actually now on the desktop. And that's, that's really all it took. It's just, just a regular GNOME desktop. Uh, can I get an about off of this thing? 
system about uh, just the details. GNOME 48 is what it ships with. And of course, it's using Wayland and it is on kernel 6.14 RC3. Anyway, if you like these videos, you want to see more, make sure you click like, subscribe, smash that notification bell, and I will see you in the next one.